worries that we do and all that. But I hate us just being that. I hate us just being somebody on Vlad. You know, yeah. we just a guy on Vlad TV telling old stories. Like, I don't mind being a guy on Vlad TV telling old stories, but I want to have something to relevant to, 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 to feel like I'm, I'm, I'm still living in the day. Because other than that, I'm living in yesterday. Right. I don't want to do that. Especially as an artist, I don't want to do that as an artist. I don't want to be living in yesterday and have, you know, oh yeah, I was dope, you know. You ain't here talking all that jazz, you know. You ain't here those stats, I was dope. I don't care about that. If you heard it, you heard it. If you didn't, I'm going to throw something new at you and you're going to be blown away. And that's important. Yeah, so that's, that. you know, so that's, you know, but that's the quest. The quest is to find the classic hip hop super fan because then we could begin to start this road of making products for them and all of that kind of stuff and see what they like. Because, mm. you know, we're not really sure. We don't know where they shop. We really don't. Right. Walmart. You know what I'm saying? These young <laughs> kids don't know where, where their audience is shopping and everything. Uh, we don't know where they shop. We don't know what they do. We don't know if they eat meat, vegan, whatever. Like, we don't know because they mostly in their crib until we do an old school show. And most of the time, most of us, I'll be brutally honest, are in and out of the show. I done did a few of those shows with Lady B and Philly. Most of the time, we in and out. Yeah. Mm, so y'all don't get no new information or where don't get no, no information. So people we can actually connect with y'all. And we're not, and none of us are using, um, um, so none of us are using technology the way we're supposed to. Right, yeah. Because if we were, if we were, we would we would at least be collecting um 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 email addresses at the door. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. When you got when you have that major event come uh August the twenty eighth, y'all right. should definitely have somebody out there getting emails. I mean, we, we definitely, I'm definitely looking forward to taking. Taking taking advantage of, of 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 you know everything that we can, and I do the same thing all the time. You know what I mean? I do the same thing all the time with everything that I do. You know? I think I think it's kind of I think it's smart as well to connect with some of those the um, yeah. the newer generation artists that's coming up. You know what I mean? And um, you know, throw them on one of your shows. That way, you can catch their audience and you can understand where those younger kids, you know, are are. What they listening to and what they like. Um, 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 um. It's music in the back. Um. Yeah, I, I think there's. I think. I think the point. The point is, my audience, our audience. It's not just my audience. Our audience needs to be reeducated. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there, there's a there's definitely a degree of reeducation that has to happen because right now, they. The way they think right now is very like I always say. Hip hop is such a interesting um, hip hop is such an interesting concept, right? Mm -hmm. People don't even see it the right way. You know how people see hip hop, which is crazy. People say, "Man, if if uh, if Drake is rich, then Melly Mel should be uber rich." That don't even make sense, but that's how people think. Yeah. Well, the time you know frame was different. It only leads to this. This right here, how did you maintain within a 40 year, this is your 40th year anniversary. Right. How did you maintain, this is your only profession that you had within the 40 years, right? Which is right. music. Right. How did you keep your head above water, your lifestyle, your day-to-day -day living and be successful? Well, I mean, it's a bunch of ways. Like, you know, a lot of us get royalties. Recording you know. stuff. You know, a little a, a, a little investment in, in in a technology company that I got. You know, I did, I, and I still do. But I took a, a a nice little turn into technology where I got a lot of, um, you know, I did a lot of things in tech. I'm still doing a lot of things in tech. But I think musically, the way you do it is, you just gotta you you have to be aware of what's happening. So you don't have to like Young Thug, but you damn sure got to listen to his music and see what's happening. Mm. You know, you don't have to like Future. You don't have to like Drake. You don't have to like Griselda. You don't have to like nobody, but you definitely got to listen to them. And, and, and I think that for us, the, 
biggest challenge, and I hate saying this, but it's super duper true. The biggest challenge for all of us is to not be haters. To not be haters, to accept the new yeah. movement, the new yeah. wave that's taking yeah. place. I was just talking to I was just talking to Flash about that the other day. Just talking to Flash about that the other day. You know, the whole issue is to just not be haters, right? Like you don't have to like them, but you got to try to figure it out. And then once you do that, then you figure out where you supposed to be. Mm. You know, the whole issue is 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 is, is listening to everybody, absorbing everybody observing everybody to know where you can be to know where you can have a place you know but if you're not looking at it if you're not understanding that gonna just didn't drop out of the sky got like nine mixtapes that he did before anybody publicly knew who he was you know but if you don't know that then you'll look at it like oh now they got a new guy named gonna it's not new T. Grizzly's not new. There's so many people that's not new because all of these kids, the, the Deontay Hitchcock, not new. All of these kids grind before they get to where they get. They get their views up on their own. They work on it. They work on it. They do things. And yes, they got a different audience, so you may not even like it. But if you go to a prize concert, you see everybody saying the lyrics. You're like, man, where did this guy come from? You got to be Wise enough, if you in hip-hop, to know that. Because like I say, if Plies is not my son, then whose son is? Because he's not Bob Marley's son. Yes. He's not Kenny yes. Chesney's son or Drake or, 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 or Blake Shelton's son. You understand? He's not um, 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 the son of, of Bruce Springsteen. They all come from us. You know, people argue all the time. I, I had these arguments with my friends. Oh, what they doing nowadays? They shouldn't even call it hip hop. They should call it something else. I disagree. Wow. I disagree. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 is it different? Yes, it's different. And if we need to teach them better, then we just need to teach them better. The problem is the absence of us. Because if you, you know, if, if, if you walk up to, let's say, NLE Chopper and say, who's that Sonic? And he don't know, that's my fault. That ain't Chopper's fault. Facts. Facts. Because we're supposed to make ourselves known. Because if you ask anybody in basketball who Will Chamberlain is, they know. They know. Off the hand. And if you ask anybody in boxing who Ali is, they know. Right. So ain't no reason that these kids shouldn't know who we are. But we are so absent. I mean, super duper absent. That's like, of course they don't know who we are. We, we, some, we people that, that, that in our mind, we occupy a small space. In a few years, call the golden age, and now we're done, besides the shows. Well, thank you for <laughs> delivering the good music and the education for the people, because we definitely, definitely need it in a state of music, hip-hop, uh, life, COVID-19, COVID-22. Right. Um, right, it's just right. so much stuff taking place. We yes, need yes. something that's positive, something with a message. I thank you, brother, man. I thank you for having me, man. You know, like I say, man, it's guys like yourself that allow me to keep going and, you know, shoot. When I was just listening to you this morning and you was playing the records back to back, I automatically just pulled out my pen and started writing. Wow. You know wow. Because, you know, that's what used to happen back in the day. Back in the day, Red Alert would be playing our records like, so, so this is why guys like you become important because, you know, I say this all the time. I, I'll say this before I go. It's not the artists or the record companies that failed anybody. It's black radio that failed us. Mm. Let's be honest. Record companies are doing what they do because they record companies. So if you could buy something for $3 and sell it for 9 you would too. That's right. That's right. right? The artists, you can't blame the artists because artists are just following what artists follow, doing what artists do. But Black Radio is the ones who Tony Braxton puts out an album last year produced by Babyface and they don't play. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm trying to say? So what happens with us is when, when there's cats like you and your radio show and we get the chance to hear, like today, I just Bluetoothed it. My wife, my kids, all of them was hearing. You wow. Know I mean? and, and it was like, you <laughs> Thank know, you. Even some of the joints, you know, 
I was, I was a little, you know, they, they, they like, it was almost like they was hearing it for the first time. Wow. You know what I'm trying to say? So, it, you know, it's cats like, like you that keep us going because before, when you can hear Chuck Chill Out or, or, or Red Alert play your music, then now you, you feel inspired. Go Stets is on the radio. You're like, man, let me write this next hot joint. Uh -huh. You know, back then, the difference between back then and now is back then you didn't know when you was going to get back in the studio. That's right. That's right. Now, now it's so I, open. I could record this joint. I'm writing it in the car. I could record this joint as soon as I get home. Wow. You know what I'm trying to say so. Those are the kind of, you know, that, those are the kind of things that keep me going. And I just encourage my peers to do what I'm doing, because if they do what I'm doing, then they would get the same feeling. You know, people say, man, you sound hungry. I say, yeah, I am hungry, but I'm hungry because, you know, I, 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 put, the, I put the first step forward. You know, where some people, like, like for instance, I talked to one of my cats from my damn time. Um, not going to mention no names. I talked to him and I said, man, you know, we need to make new joints. He said, yeah, but daddy, you know, when we make new joints, they don't even play them. They don't even hear them. See, them, they like, if they make new joints and nobody plays it, they don't make nothing else. Me, I'm like, if I make new joints and nobody plays it, I'm making the next thing. That's right. You're going to keep making yeah. until you catch something that's exactly. in catching. Because you got to figure it out. And we all had to figure it out back in the day, too. So, I mean, that's what it is, but yeah, wow. man, it's been great, brother. I, I appreciate you, man. We appreciate you. I'm through casa. You're through casa. Don't hesitate to drop by anytime. Oh, Ring your phone. You know, let's make it happen, man. You are history, no and we thank you for all your all right. hard work and dedication, all the groups you helped in the past, all the artists that you're helping now. Thank you for this marvelous album. Thank you for myself, for hip hop, uh, for music listeners everywhere. Recording in progress. For all your hard work, man. Just thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, no doubt. And I, hopefully I get to see you guys on the 28th. You already know because it's going down. Yep, yep. So I'll see you guys on the 28th. All right, sure thing, man. Yeah. Can we get a shout right, out? Man. Livewire's Big. radio show, D, uh, Rain Jackson, DJ Livewire. Can we get a shout out? Oh, yeah. Say it again. Tell me what I need to say. I'm Rain Jackson. This is Live DJ. Wire. Do say Live Wire video or Live Wire TV Radio or show. Live Wire, live live wire, wire radio, radio show. Uh huh. Rain Jackson and DJ Live Wires. Okay. Peace. This is Daddy O from the legendary hip hop bands. It's a Sonic. And you're listening to the Live Wire radio show with Rain Jackson and DJ Live Wire. Yeah. Thank you, Daddy O. I'll talk to y'all soon. All yeah, right, I'll Professor. Y'all yeah, come right. back. All right. Cool. Yeah, 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 we're about to get it in. Some more of that Daddy O officialness. It's Saturday and it's hype. We got to pay some bills, but you ain't got to go nowhere. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Let's get it.